In today's video, we're gonna be fishing the Western Branch. We're gonna be throwing some jigs and some worms. We're gonna be looking for some white perch, some crappie and some bass, y'all. So y'all sit back and relax and enjoy. Let's go catch some fish. All right, so we have my Catch the Fever, six foot, medium light, precision cast crappie rod. We have that spooled up with some six pound monofilament. We're throwing a 16th ounce little nasty jig head, chartreuse color. And then we're throwing a Bobby Garland two inch. This is called Purple Monkey. It's a little baby shad imitation. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start off with this and see what we can get. And then we'll go from there. Just got freaking thumped by a crappie. I was working that jig and I felt my line just get thumped. There's definitely some crappie sitting over here. Look at that y'all. First crappie of the morning. Not a bad one at all. Perfect. That's on that purple monkey color. It's like a clear with a little bit of purple flake in there. Got us our first crappie of the morning. Let's get old boy back in the water. All right, I'll see you later, buddy. Beautiful crappie. We got one so far. If there's one, there's definitely more. Crappie love to stack up together. I'm real fired up. There we go. That's one. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Woohoo! Another crappie on the board, baby. Alrighty, let's get him back in the water. See you later, boss. There he goes. All glory and all thanks be to God, y'all. So blessed to be out here and have an amazing youtube family that supports me i love y'all so much i really do putting my jig before the brush pile and i'm allowing the current to slowly drag my jig right into the brush pile and the crappie are sitting there ambushing it every time and there's some real oh that was a stud look what he just did to my jig they are hungry and they are fired up there we go fish on Fish on. Let's go, baby. Send him on his way. All right, boss. See you later. There we go. There we go. Let's go. I'm all twisted up in my line. Beautiful fish. Alrighty. There we go. There we go. Let's go, y'all. Let's freaking go. Let's get him back in the water. Alrighty. Ooh, it's a nice one, too. Fish on. Fish on. Love the way they fight, y'all. Look at that rod. Oops, such a good fight. Alrighty. <sighs> Smells like a river crappie. See you later, boss. And this is an old abandoned kayak ramp. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Alrighty. Like I said, doing the same jig, y'all. We have a 16th ounce Little Nasty with a Purple Monkey Bobby Garland imitation shad. It's a two inch bait. And we're absolutely slaying these crappie today, baby. There it is. There it is. Oop. They're flopping around, look at them. 
All right, but relax, relax. I'm gonna get you back in the water. Relax. All righty. See you later. See you later. Man, what a day, y'all. I did not expect us to be out here for just over an hour. Just over an hour of fishing. And we have this many fish on the boat. Absolutely insane. Another one. Another one. Bam. <laughs> I literally just put one back in the water and already got another one on already. Literally, the bait was in the water for like 10 seconds. It got hit already. That's a nice one, too. Alrighty. See you later, buddy. There it is. Another fish, baby. Another fish. We were absolutely slaying them today, y'all. I don't even know what number of fish this is. I, I just stopped counting. <laughs> I honestly just stopped counting. <laughs> Let's freaking go. I love the color of these crappie too, y'all. They are so beautiful. Especially this time of year, early spring. We're getting bit like crazy right here. Got to be a small one though. He's just bumping it. Now he's running with it. He's running with it. He's running with it. Running with it. Running with it. Let it go. Yeah, it's got to be a small one. I threw it right over there and he just swam with it all the way here. And <laughs> let it go. But if there's small ones around. There's got to be some big boys back in there. It's got to be. Gotta be. There we go. There we go. We are wearing them out. Let's go. They seem to be really loving this color today. They are a big fan of that purple monkey color they love it it's really perfect for this water quality typically in this water what works best for me is either this color or i'll throw like a baby shad like black and silver color that usually works pretty well on this body of water I've tried white before, but I couldn't really get any good action on the white. Fish right now. Oh, quick release. Quick release that one. <laughs> Let him up, he got off. There's another, oh, another one. Another one quick, quick release. Ooh, that's a nicer one. Ooh, that's a nicer one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nicer one. Get up here. Oh, he's running. Oh, that's a nicer one. That's a nicer one. Oh, get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Ah, let's go. Let's freaking go. Look at that crappie, y'all. Let's freaking go. That is a stud crappie. That is an absolute stud. Let's, let's freaking go, y'all. That is an absolute stud of a crappie. Let's freaking go. All righty, Bubba. Baby, baby. That will never get old, y'all. Comment down below as well. If you like to do crappie fishing, what is your, ooh, what is your favorite method to catch them? I like hearing other people's opinions. I like hearing other people's methods. Because I might try them out and use them out here. Because I'm all about knowledge and understanding. Because you'll never know everything about fishing. Someone's always going to know more than you. Someone's always going to know something different that you don't know. So I like collectively knowing as much as I can 
I'm using it to make myself a better fisherman so I can produce better content for y'all to watch. So I always allow myself to be open to hear other people's ways of doing things and trying them out. Because you never know until you give it a shot. Here we go, fish on, baby. Boom. This one's definitely been caught a few times before. His lips all beat up. Oh, just got caught again, my friend. <laughs> there we go. See you later, champ. See you later. Hope you enjoyed the fun. I know I did. <laughs> Nice fish, y'all. Nice fish. Nice fish. Ooh, that is a big one, y'all. That is a big crappie. Let's freaking go. Look at that crappie, y'all. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's a nice crappie. Nice big old belly on him. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Look at that jig. Right there in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. See you later, boss. Alrighty. Send that old jig back down there. He whacked that jig, too. Absolutely destroyed that jig. There we go. Another crappie. Nice little guy. My favorite ounce jig heads that though is 16th ounce jig head. Unless I'm fishing deeper water. Now when I'm fishing deep water, I'll go up to an 8th ounce jig head. But when I'm fishing shallow water like we are today, like I'd say a 10 to 12 foot of water, I'm throwing a 16th ounce. I like that jig to fall nice and slow. So the crappie can get a really good look at it. Because everybody knows crappie, they suspend when they're feeding. So your jig needs to be up in the water column for them to see it. So the longer it takes for it to fall, the more time they can have to look at it. Here it is. So let them, oh, that's, it. that's why. That's why. That explains it. A little guy down there. But hey, fish is a fish. Let's get him back in the water. See you later, champ. Bring your old grandmama out here. I want to find your grandmama. Oh, that might have been your grandma. That might have been your grandma. <laughs> that was a good hit. Go ahead and do me a favor and comment down below. What is your personal best crappie? I want to know. I'm sure there's some people who follow me who might even have a state record. And tell me where you're from. Fish on. Look at that. This one's aggressive. Look at him. Nice fish. Nice fishy, fishy, fishy. See you later, boss. Have a nice swim. Oh, we got a big one. Oh, we got a big one, y'all. We got a big one. We got a real big one. Get over here. That's a real big copy. Let's go. That is a slob, y'all. That is an absolute slob. Look at that jig. That jig is right there in his mouth. Let's go, y'all. That is a real big crappie. See you later, buddy. I think my personal best crappie is only, I think, like 13 and a half inches. It's my personal best crappie, about 13 and a half inches. But I know there's way bigger ones out there. They're like 15, 16 inches. At least where I'm fishing in the state of Maryland, our crappie don't get too, too big out here. It ain't like Texas or Louisiana where they got them three, four pound crappie. 
Our crappie don't get that big out here. We're in about 10 foot of water and I have my bait suspended right at six foot. And that's where I've been catching all these crappie at. The thing about crappie fishing, you're gonna catch a lot, but you sure are gonna miss a lot. That's just the beauty of it. Their mouths are just paper thin and there's just so many of them down there. They'll just fight over it. One will spit it out, other one will come and eat it. We got a runner. There it is. Alrighty. Let's get it back in the water. That one hit it so weird, y'all. That crappie hit it so weird. That was such a weird feeling. I just went to lift it up and it didn't come up. I'm like, that must be a fish on. A little dinky. Another little baby. Another little baby crappy. Ooh, what's a big one? Oh, we got a big one on y'all. That is a big crappie. I need to get twisted up in my line. Let's go. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Beautiful fish. Absolutely inhaled that jig. Let's freaking go. Beautiful fish, y'all. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure please smash that subscribe button for me and check out some of my other videos. I would greatly appreciate it. All the thanks and glory to God. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys out in the water again. Cowboy out.